Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you another chess match I had with somebody. Now, this time I'm not going to show you who um, was playing with the black pieces and who was playing with the white pieces, okay? So, I'll give you the spoiler. I won, but, but you've got to guess who was who. But anyway, that's irrelevant. All you have to try and work out is who you think is winning. Now... Most of the game is not that eventful until near the end. Let's have a look. I thought they might actually take a pawn, but they didn't. This is a fairly standard tactic. Now it's going to get a bit interesting. Now, um, black is threatening to take white's queen. So white moves the queen out of the way. Who do you think is winning at the moment? Black or white? Black then moves a bishop out. For some reason, Black has not even tried to stop the, the um, bishop being taken. And now, this is a very interesting move at this point. Okay? White is now threatening Black's Queen. Also, it looks as if Black will have to move their Queen out of the way. And then it looks as if maybe... Um, White, realising that they didn't take the bishop when they could have done, might actually take the bishop. They may do that, they may not. It may be a good idea, it may not be. The question is, look at the position at the moment and ask yourself, who do you think has the better position? Black or white? I will give you about 20 seconds to think. That's probably about 20 seconds. I guessed it, how long it would be by just using my fingers. Right. Well, obviously, um, Black decided they would move their queen out of the way. Now, who do you think has the better position now? Black or white? I'm going to give you 20 seconds to think.
Okay. Now, obviously white doesn't like um, the queen being in this position. So, white decided to take the bishop. The view being that now the queen is being attacked by both the bishop and the knight. So, for example, And the idea is that later, perhaps, um, once the queen has moved, then the knight could move here, take a pawn, and force a check. But anyway, well... I'd like to see what actually did happen. Just a minute. That's weird. Um, I've no idea how to get help get rid of this, so. Oh dear. I'm not expert on this as you can probably tell. Okay, anyway, I've managed to get rid of the lines. Now, at this point, who do you think is winning? Black or white? Who do you think has the strongest position at this point? I'll give you 20 seconds. Okay, right. I'm now going to show you the next move. And this may surprise you because, yes, black does move their, nut, their queen. And they do move their queen to safety out of the way of the attack by the bishop and the knight. The next move played was this. Checkmate. Did you spot it? Going back. And black was being threatened by a pawn. Did you know at that point it was a guaranteed forced checkmate? And that from there on, white could not possibly win, having moved the pawn to attack the queen? You probably think, what am I talking about? So let's look at the options white could have done instead. First I'm going to show you what, again what they did do. Black moved here. It's okay. That's what black did. Nothing white could do about that. So, as I said, as I said, they took the bishop and it was checkmate. Let's go back a bit. What could white have done instead? From here, absolutely nothing. And I'll tell you why. They've already lost no matter what they do from here. You see, let's supposing
and they moved a queen there. Offering a queen exchange. Okay. Well, not stop the checkmate. What else could they have done? I cannot move the king at all. So if they move the knight, threatening the queen. I can move this here. They could move there. And that's a checkmate. Even so even if and even here, that's also a checkmate. They are genuinely completely trapped, no matter what they do. So let's go back before they even move the pawn. They missed some hope for them. But it's even then, it's not quite simple. Suppose instead they'd have moved this knight here. To block this. Still the problem here. And... Um, I cannot again do anything to stop that later. No, so sorry. If instead did I move that here? Now my queen is being threatened, so I'm now in trouble. I can now move here. And they're in trouble. So this now is... As... Very little they can do. But they could now do some sort of dancing around. So they might get out of it for now. And no, oh, sacrificing their bishop. Uh, uh... So that's one way they could have perhaps got out of it slightly, maybe for a while. Let's no, supposing they did have um, sacrificed their queen. If I had moved there, then they could just take the queen off. So, 
That would make it harder for me. Or should I say, because I actually, as I said, did win. Okay, if I'd done that, I'd have lost the queen. So, it would have kept them in the game by doing various things. But nonetheless, they did what they thought would be most beneficial. Attack my queen. Attack my queen again. But they didn't realise by doing so they would lose the game. Okay. So were you right? Did you predict black would win? Thanks for watching. Bye.